Sunday afternoon, October, I don't know. October 13th. October 13th, just about four o'clock. That I know because I looked at the clock. We are in downtown Lake Oswego, walking around, just for no reason. We're on a drive, Sunday afternoon drive. That's a good enough reason, because we can. So we'll bring you with us, we'll be back. I should say, this is only about 10 minutes from our house. This beautiful outdoor venue space with a fireplace. So great. There's railroad tracks here. <laughs> Got you anyway. Got me anyway. I just did that and I didn't have the thing on. So once a month or once a week, we're gonna to try to find some new local mom and pop places to eat. Right now we're on a place, on a kick to find a good burger place. So today we're gonna to try the Oswego Grill and we'll let you know what we think. I'll be right back. Okay, so Oswego Grill. It was it was really good. That was a good mm -hmm. burger. I had the bison burger and it was delicious. You had the bacon burger? Bacon cheese burger. Bacon cheeseburger. His burger had not only had garlic Barbe barbecue bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, it had not only had garlic aioli on it, but it had fried deep fried onions. Mm -hmm. Had fried onions. And mine had some sort of it tasted like oh, no light. <laughs> We're in the dark. Oh, there we go. Mine had some sort of homemade Thousand Island dressing. It was delicious. Now, I will say that it was a more posh place than we were looking for. Does that mean there was anything wrong with that? No. We did feel a little out of place because I'm in stretchy pants and flip-flops. But, you know, he's in a sweatshirt. Um, and everybody else, it seemed like, in the restaurant was dressed up except us. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, but... But I would go back again in a heartbeat because they had really good food and they had a lot of other things on the menu. I think we're still on the hunt for the perfect sort of dive bar burger place with really good food. I think we're still on the hunt for that. But Oswego Grill is now on, on the menu of places to go eat. It was good. Yep. All right, we'll be back. Monday morning, uh, October 14th, I think. I think that's the date anyway. It's still morning because it's like five minutes before noon. So technically I'm cool. <laughs> if you ever had one of those days, mornings, where you sat down with your morning coffee and we're just gonna read a little while you sipped your coffee and the next thing you know, it's lunchtime. Welcome to my Monday. Anyway, I've got two Etsy orders that have to go out today, so I'm going to take care of them and get some other stuff done. We're headed to an overnight trip at the end of the week back to California, which I have no problem telling you all about because by the time you hear about it, we're going to be back. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. So, helps if I take off the parking brake. I popped in Rite Aid really quick and I needed a new curling iron and some pantyhose, some tights, things like that. I'm going to a few events uh, this holiday season starting next weekend and some of them are dressy events, uh, conservative um, dressy events, which is just best if I save the whole argument of my tattoos and things by just wearing pantyhose or tights and covering them up. It's just easier, people. Do I care what people think? Not really. But I don't always want to have the argument either. So it's easier to just cover shit up. So there you have it. Um, so anyway, I got that done. I did find a pair of 
um, actually cute leggings at Rite Aid. I didn't even know they had that sort of thing there. I don't know what the quality is going to be like, but they weren't very expensive, so that works. I'm going to stop and I'm I shouldn't say I'm going to stop. I'm debating stopping at Safeway to get chocolate. Let's be honest. Because in times of stress I eat and I'm already getting stressed out about something that hasn't even happened yet this weekend, the trip to California. So anyway, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know when I get home if I stopped or not. I'll be back. I'm back home now and I ate my lunch and yeah, we stopped at Safeway and got some chocolate. And oh well, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. All right, I'm going to do a little reading, get a little art done and I'll be back. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, October 15th. I got no clue what time it is. I've um, been chatting with friends and editing video all morning. We're going to go check the mailbox. It is Wednesday morning, October 16th, I think. And yes, it's raining. I am in flip-flops, short sleeves, no coat. It's fine, I'm good. I'm not the Wicked Witch, I won't melt. I was told recently, that means I'm a true Oregonian now. I don't know that that's true, but. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm out and about running a few errands. I had to get some stuff at Staples. Popped into TJ Maxx really quick to see if they had something to wear to this weekend's family event. I didn't really think they would and they didn't. TJ Maxx is really not my store. I keep trying, but um, but I have stuff in the closet I can wear. So I'm gonna just do that. It may, it may not live up to others' expectations of what I should wear, but Am I awfully concerned about that? Not really. We're gonna pop over to Fred Meyer since it's like kitty corner from here really quick. I wanna see if they have a couple things for the house and then go home and I've got some art to do and video to film, so I'll be yeah, back. I think it's a good thing that I'm done with the errands now because it's starting to rain a bit harder than it was. And yeah, I don't mind being out in the rain and it's not that cold, it's 53. But for me, that's not that chilly. I'm, you know, fat. Fat's insulating, right? Um, but I'm done with my errands and I think it's time to go home and either have an extra cup of coffee or a nice cup of tea or something. It's getting close to lunchtime. I'm starting to get hungry. All of those things so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna unpack everything I'm gonna get my little mini travel sketch bag ready or start to get it ready I will go over it with y'all when I get ready to pack it um, when I'm going on short trips like this I don't take of course my full art suitcase with me that's a bit too much um, so but I have a small Delphonics bag. I bring things I can do either in the hotel room or um, on the airplane. My daily sketches, I can keep up with the daily sketches. So anyway, all right, that's it. 
I'm going to head home. I don't know if I can get there without weights, so I need to get off the video and I'll be back. New merch samples just came in, so I got two new tank tops. Uh, one with a logo that's been in the store for a while. Uh, it's actually a combination of two logos. Be a decent human and don't be an a-hole. It doesn't say a-hole, FYI. If you're offended by foul language, some of the merch in my store may be offensive. Just saying. All right, then the, one of the new ones that's in the shop, own your shit. And I don't mean literal poop. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Just own it. <laughs> and then a new pair of leggings with my artwork on them. Cool, I can't wait to wear them. Okay, so while I'm not ready to actually pack this yet, I've got a couple days yet, I wanted to show you all this. This is my large Delphonics bag. You can see the front's covered with lots of buttons. Um, this is what I take when I'm just going on a short trip. Um, and, and I'm not taking a ton of art supplies and or I'm not taking a ton of art supplies with me. This is the very basic basics, ba mostly just my daily drawing stuff. Um, I don't really keep a ton of stuff in the outside pockets because I'm usually putting this in a backpack. And as it is, the buttons can get caught on things, but then also... Um, things don't really stay super well in the pockets, um, but I have a pair of scissors here, a small pair of um, travel scissors. And then in the back here, I have my daily pages um, journal where I write in, and I have a mini clipboard as I um, hard place to put my journals on if I'm like drawing in my lap or something. I have a pair of reading glasses my um, nice fountain pen, my whatever journals I'm working on currently are in here. Um, right now I've got five little journals. Oops. Those three littler ones and then these two bigger ones. And then, um, make sure things don't fall on the floor, okay. And then I have a rag and a chamois and there's two small mini paint brushes here. Um, these are for wiping brushes off, smearing graphite, that kind of thing. And then I have the pencil case inside. Um, and this this is a home cube case. I will if both the Delphonics bag and the home cube case are both from Amazon, and I will link them in the description if you're interested. The Delphonics bag comes in this large size, and there is a small one which I actually have here. And when I'm bringing more watercolor things with me. I bring this one, which is packed full of watercolor stuff. I'm not bringing it this time. I'm going to leave this one at home. I'm only gone for an overnight trip, so. Um, anyway, the home cube case um, has my travel daily drawing stuff in it. So normally, my daily drawing stuff. bag, this actually sits on the sofa. We're down in my family room. I've got a variety of pens and pencils, um, rags, ink, um, rulers, drawing guides, um, different various things in here. Um, and this actually zips up really nicely into a sort of duffel bag shape and I can stow it away when we're having company. Um, but it just stays down here and when I'm working on the watercoloring uh, or maybe my uh, black doodle journal, um, which that stuff is upstairs, I'm not working on it at the moment. Anyway, that's like stuffed in the corner. I need that stuff with me this time. I'm just bringing this daily drawing stuff. Um, and so I have a variety of black pens in here, a couple of water brushes. Of course, I have my black Bic crystal pen. Um, I've got, here's another water brush. I've got some pastel highlighters. I do use highlighter markers, or at least I have been uh, lately uh, in my daily drawings. I really love them. I'm still using the gel um, highlighter crayons and then smearing them with water. But these sort of highlighter markers are great. Um, I got these today, and these are by Uli. These are from Staples. And I, I'm bringing these because they're thin, and they're the same basic colors I use every day. Generally, I use these, which are my favorite Castell. And these are great. I love them. I use them all the time, but they're too big to bring. 
So I got these smaller ones. And then, of course, I've got a variety of the gel crayons that I love and some Uniball Signo white gel pens, a couple of pencils in the bottom, an eraser, um, a blending stump, and that sort of thing. So every all the basic stuff that I really need to get some um, you know, quick, easy daily drawing stuff done. This is what I'm going to bring with me uh, for the quick family thing that we're doing this weekend. And that way I have stuff to work on while we're traveling. So anyway, I hope it gives you guys some ideas of what you can do when you're on the go. Hey guys, it is 5.11 p.m. <laughs> Thursday, October 17th. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad. Um, I <laughs> was up, um, the, I slept in a little bit after, um, the husband went to work. Usually I get up with him, but the last couple days I've had trouble getting to sleep, which means that I am just, I, there's, I have no energy to get up with him when he gets up at, and goes to work at, I don't know, 630 in the morning. So I've stayed in bed a little bit later and I did that again today. And then I went ahead and started getting ready for our trip tomorrow and getting some things done here around the house, <sighs> pulling out a suitcase, packing. I'm really hoping we can just get everything into one carry-on and one or two uh, backpacks. Um, my husband and I are notorious for overpacking. I'm really hoping that we can get everything in one suitcase, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it would make things quicker when we land if we didn't have to check anything. Uh, which I won't get into right now on camera, but let's just say that our time commitments are tighter than we thought they were on Friday. So, um, yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm not flying in a dress and heels and makeup and no, just no. So anyway, um, but I did go ahead and get some um, work done today that I needed to get done upstairs in the art room, some paper clips done for the next few days that I can share over the next few days, and some really cute ones I think this time. Not that they're all not cute, but these this next batch is pretty cute. Um, I did my daily drawings already for today early. I usually don't do them until after dinner, but I did them already, and I've got my... A uh, little bit of drawing stuff that I'm going to take with me. Um, it already packed. I do take even even no matter no matter how long or short the trip may be. I usually take at the very minimum a sketchbook and a and a pen. Um, it helps keep me um, sane and on an even keel. So, and when I can't sleep. Um, having something to do like that to do helps me get sleepy or read. I will take my mini um, tablet with me. So it has all my books on it. Anyway, yeah, it's a bit in the focus of my day is getting ready for tomorrow. Sorry, the light is funky, but is that better? That's a little better. At least my eye bags show up a little less. It's a little less unattractive. Um, but it's, Overcast and cloudy out. Um, it's been raining off and on all day, so I don't know if we're going to go walking or not. Um, we didn't get any walking last night because it was just, by the time he got home, it was black outside. Not that we mind walking in the dark, but it's probably not the smartest thing to do. Um, but I still don't mind doing it. I bring a flashlight and I wear, I put on a, a white sweatshirt at the very least. Uh, my husband has really bad circulation, like really bad. Even bundled up with gloves on, we will come back from a walk and his fingers will be white. They're so cold. So that's an issue. So I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be up to it. So I guess we'll see when he gets home, which should hopefully be in a bit. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'll bring you with us when I can on the trip. And uh, yeah. And I'll try to film a little something at the wedding we'll see what i get we'll see what happens all right i'll be Wait, back in case i didn't say we're going back to california for a family wedding that's why we're going it's actually tomorrow evening and um then um we come home saturday so i'm hoping we get some time in to like do a little driving around in california maybe go to daiso 
Um, I'd rather go driving around, see some sites, do a little shopping, you know. So we'll see what happens. I'll be back. Remember what I was saying about going walking? Yeah. It's more than a little drizzle. I guess we're staying home. All right, I'll be back. So good morning. It's Friday morning, October 18th. Yep. Any idea what time it is? Yeah, it's uh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. A little after nine, five after. Um, we are in the red lot at Portland International Airport. We're headed back to California for an overnight trip for a family function, and yeah, more air yeah. more airplanes. I don't like airplanes. I've been on a lot of airplanes the last two years, but I don't like airplanes. Yeah. What airplanes. are you gonna What are you gonna do? So anyway, do do? it is a crisp, pretty Portland morning. It's, you know, for me it's perfect weather. Fred's probably chilly. No, actually I'm fine. You're good. I'm good. He's good. Okay, Big cool. surprise. So anyway, we're hoping to get to the terminal. In enough time to grab a cup of coffee before we have to go to the gate, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll bring you with got, us where we can. I got my drink tickets. <laughs> he has drink complimentary coupons. drink coupons from Southwest Airlines because of some prior issues of the flight. So he's hoping for a morning Bloody Mary, just yep. FYI. Bloody Mary. Got anyway, that. I don't drink, so it's good. Whatever. All right, I'll be back. in California literally a few minutes ago and we're in the rental car we haven't even left the vicinity of the airport and we already saw two stupid drivers and what does he say to, welcome to California this is gonna be fun I'm gonna get in the left-hand turn lane and go straight right and, or make a u-turn over a, a double yellow over a double yellow in the middle of a street with no warning yeah welcome to California stills and video from the wedding which I'll include right about here um, it was a very nice wedding uh, here at the Holiday Inn in Auburn a uh, very nice facility uh, we're in the executive suite which is a, a nice room uh, uh, anyway your girl here uh, <laughs> holy cow my middle name's not Grace I've said that right so they had a bouquet toss for luck 
instead of tossing it to see who was the next one going to be to have a baby or get married, as is more traditional, this is for luck, which I think I like better. Anyway, they made all the women get up, and I made sure to stand in the back because I really didn't want to catch it because I don't like... Anyway, guess who caught the bouquet with her face? You're, you got it. So your girl here, she's so graceful. Like, I caught it. It smacked me right in the face, and then I had to go pick it up. I don't know how I'm going to get that home. <laughs> anyway, Fred's still downstairs partying hardy. Everybody was dancing. I didn't want to interrupt them. Um, I told him to tell them all good night. I came up here because I need to put my knee up because it's bothering me um, a bit. And I want to do a little bit of drawing and sketching. And so I'm going to do that. And I will be back probably in the morning. Unless Fred does something cute because he's a tad toasty. Yeah, it was also really not fun to be at a, par a party where everybody was drinking. I was the only sober one, and I couldn't dance because my knee hurt. So, anyway, what are you going to do? All right, morning. I'll be back. It's Saturday morning, October 19th. Morning. Don't get excited. I only know that because the wedding was yesterday. That was the 18th. Anyway, we are um, up. It's 9, 17 a.m., and we are going for a drive around the back roads of... Auburn, California. What are we in? Newcastle? We're in Newcastle. Newcastle yeah. right now. We are going to be stopping over at um, a mall in Roosevelt so I can go to Daiso before we go home. And um, one more, I think, quick visit with family before we fly home. But yeah. we will bring you with us where we can. We'll be back. guys we are home yay unpacked everything is put away it was a fun trip but we are glad to be home and thankfully it's not rainy and storming we were worried about the, how bumpy the landing was going to be and how wet we, wet we were going to get getting to the car so anyway as you can hear if you can hear the kids next door are 
having a party evidently they're having a great old time which is good we are gonna sit and chill have a snack it's eight something I don't know what time it is but it doesn't matter we're hungry so anyway it was a fun trip it's been a fun week um, we hope you've had a good one if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down below don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links um, my happy mail address places to follow me on social media the Etsy store and my Amazon affiliate link and my tip jar see one of those ways you can support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups and all of that jazz. Anyway, most important thing is to go out and have a great day, have a great week, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.